হদখম উকিল সন্থার আহ্বানত নাগরিকত্ব সংশোধনী আইন দুহাজার উনৈশর বিরুদ্ধে বিশ্বনাথ চারিআলি অধিবক্তা সন্থা এক প্রতিবাদী কার্যসূচী গ্রহণ করে বিশ্বনাথ চারিআলি অধিবক্তা সন্থার কার্যালয়ের অধিবক্তা সকলে বিশ্বনাথর উপায়ুক্তর কার্যালয় সন্মুখলকে এক প্রতিবাদী সমতল বাহির করে কা আইন বাতিলের দাবিত প্রতিবাদ সাব্যস্ত করে প্রতিবাদকারী সকলে ভারতের রাষ্ট্রপতি নাগরিকত্ব সংশোধনী আইন বাতিলের দাবিত বিশ্বনাথ জেলার উপায়ুক্তের জড়িয়ে বিশ্বনাথ চারিআলি অধিবক্তা সন্থার সভাপতি দিলীপ কুমার বরা আর সম্পাদক পদ্মকান্ত বরার স্বাক্ষরিত এখন স্মারকপত্র প্রেরণ করে প্রতিবাদী কার্যসূচীত দীনমণি দাস প্রাঞ্জল প্রতিম বরা অর্জুন কুর্মী গোলাপ হাজরিকা তৌফিক আহমেদ সৈদুর রহমান জয়ন্ত ইংটির বিশ্বনাথের বহু অধিবক্তায় অংশগ্রহণ করে consent and our association begs to pardon before your excellency that this act would be will jeopardize the interest of people belonging to the state of assam and there is every likelihood that after coming into force of this act this demographic pattern of assam will be changed and will be a fatal blow to the people of assam excellency We would like to state that the state of Assam is a victim of unabated influx of illegal immigrants from neighboring countries, and there is a reasonable and justified fear amongst the indigenous people of Assam, who are predominantly the ethnic varieties of different tribes, and they will soon become minority in their own land. <coughs> Excellency, perhaps you are well aware of the fact that after signing of the history record, the Assam Accord, on 15-8-1985 and consequent amendment of the Citizenship Act 1955 Act No. 65 of 1985 whereby Section 6A <coughs> was inserted in the parent act. Legitimacy has already been given to the illegal immigrants from East Pakistan, present Bangladesh, who will stay in the state of Assam up to 25-3-1971 already stands legalized. In other words, there is a mandate by virtue of Section 6A of the Citizenship Act 1955 that all the foreigners from Bangladesh who came to Assam on or after 25 1971 alone are liable to be deported in accordance with law. In this process, Assam has already absorbed millions of illegal migrants from Bangladesh up to 25 1971 Now, in terms of the act, if further Hindu migrants from the country noted above are to be permitted in the country in general and Assam in particular, the same will further complicate the demographic profile of the state as well as the cultural heritage of the state. <coughs> Excellency, being the constitutional head of the country, you are well aware of the legal position that Article 5 to 9 of the Constitution of India may not impose any feature <coughs> on the power of parliament under Article 11 to make a law on acquisition and termination of citizenship. But the issue is whether the Act, which seeks to prescribe a cut-off date of 31-12-2014, is, uh, is permissible in view of a cut-off date, already stands prescribed by Article 6. It is pertinent in this context to mention mm -hmm. Article 29 of the Constitution of India which ensure to any section of the citizens having a distinct language, script or culture of its own to have the rights to conserve the same. Excellency, the Act seeks to confer citizenship to the Hindu migrants up to 31-12-2014 and thereby the state of Assam will be further burdened as lakhs of Hindu Bengalis will be able to stay 
and avail all the facilities and other benefits like the local population of the state of Assam. Excellency, Excellency, we demand and reiterate that act is a gross violative of provisions of the Constitution of India and there is every likelihood that this act will deface and defile the Constitution of India which is the solemn guide book and spirit for the entire country as well as the nation itself. Now we fervently hope that being the head of the state you will be able to feel the cry of a part of the of a state namely Assam and the agony faced by the people of this part of country which already had witnessed the syndrome of deep unrest and we urge upon your excellency be kind enough not to give effect to this act and for this act of this act on the part of your excellency <coughs> the Vishwanath Sayali Bar Association a body association of all Assam lawyers association as in duty bound shall ever pray thanking you yours faithfully Secretary Potmo Kantabura, President Dilip Kumar Bura, Vishwanath Sayali Bar Association Vishwanath Harpura Suhanjan Gogoi, Aakham Today